First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. And this is the most insane demonstration on ambient light rejection on YouTube. Now, this screen is taking in a ton of ambient light. This right here is our new Luminous, the Luminous Ambient Light Rejection Cinema Paint. Now, it deserves the name Ambient Light Rejection because it does things on a scale that you don't see in most video demonstrations. Usually in some of these demonstrations you see high power projectors and very poor lit environments we call ambient light controlled environments where they make it comfortable for the screen to make it look pretty. Well, in these demonstrations we don't do that. We basically put our screens in the most uncomfortable environments we can think of. Now, if this screen can pass this test, well, your everyday environment is nothing. Now, keep in mind, I wanna show you without the lights, let me look at the lights. This is my everyday environment, all right? Let me go put my condensed lighting on. My condensed light, there we go. So we've got the condensed lighting. We have my other light here, but it's extremely bright. Look how bright the environment is if we didn't have these lights right here. Now, my measuring tape comes in at nine feet away from the screen. This is beyond the wall of light. This is what you call extremely extreme uh, testing. The reason why we go this far to do a testing to put screens in this kind of uncomfortable environment because if this screen can surpass this kind of um, kind of environment, pretty much everything else is a cakewalk. Now I want you to see right here, see the light that's coming around the screen? So the light right here, this screen is taking a ton of light. All right, so first things first, let's show off the demonstration. Take our projector off the lamp mode and uh, the phone. And there we go. At nine feet back, the overhead spotlights are about 200 watts each. So that's about six right there over top of the screen. And the light bulbs at the bottom are about 100 watts. So all together, we got about 800 watts hitting this screen. my projector sitting back at nine feet. This is what I mean by extreme, extreme ambient light rejection technology. I'll just take out my everyday lights and I'll just leave these in. This is how much light these screens can reject. Now this is our new screen paint. Uh, this is the Luminous Ambient Light Rejection uh, Cinema paint. And this paint right here basically can be coated on just about any surface. I mean any surface. Uh, you can paint it on, uh, actually to tell you the truth, I'm actually converting the shop downstairs to combinate paint. So uh, we're doing, uh, I'm actually at some equipment I'm actually gonna be bringing in. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a motorized, my motorized 16, okay, I still have it downstairs, my motorized uh, 16 nine tension screen. We're gonna coat that, roll that up over and over and over again. Show you no cracking, no peeling. For those of you who wanna recoat your uh, motorized screens, we're gonna bring down a fixed frame screen also too and attach it to the wall. We're gonna recoat that also, also too. Uh, the paint is available now on our website. We do have it in uh, sizes of one gallon, two gallon, and five gallons. Five gallons are not available overseas, so I'm gonna them there really quick. But one gallon and two gallons are now. The one gallon will paint a screen size of 100 inch to 180 inch, uh, 16, 9, 16, 10. It does 235.1. The biggest you can go in 235.1 is 178. Uh, for those of you that are looking to get two gallons of it, two gallons will paint up to 100 inch to a 250 inch screen. Same thing as 16, 9, 16, 10, and 235.1. And five gallons will do up to a five, sorry, a 500 inch screen. The same format and ratio sizes at 16, 9, 16, 10, and 235.1 or higher on that particular um, panorama or um, um, uh, form of a widescreen format. Now, as I said before, these screens are designed to take in a ton of ambient light. Look at this. Look how fantastic the screen looks. There's no washing out. There's no fading. What I mean by 
I, put it this way, for me, when I do demonstrations, I don't like to make the screen, I don't like to make the environment comfortable. Now, some people may consider this to be extreme, 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 uh, going over the top, but you need demonstrations like this because you have to ensure the customer that the screen's gonna be to take in tons of ambient light and not to worry about the screen washing out or fading. Now, let me show you right here. I'm gonna come over here and hit my switch. My switch controls on my lights over here. I'm gonna hit the switch right here. I'm gonna knock out all the lights. Now this is just my everyday, my everyday environment lighting. Everyday environment lighting, and look at the screen. This is why the screen looks incredible in a fully lit environment. Because it's used to taking on tons of ambient light. So this right here, everyday environment lighting, everyday lighting that I have in my environment, this is what the screens can be thriving easily. This is a cakewalk for it. When most screens struggle in this kind of lighting, our screens actually thrive in this kind of lighting because they're used to going through more extreme testing than average screens. See, it doesn't change because I have the overhead light on it and that light's pretty powerful. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. Uh, the screen paint is available on our website now. One gallon and two gallons do come with free worldwide shipping. Five gallons is not available overseas yet, but we will have available soon. I'm going to get out of here real quick. Got a lot of work to do. And uh, uh, see you guys later, and God bless. I got to get downstairs and finish working up the shop. All right. Thank you all for your time.